when we saw the Canova, it was a wonderful thing. My heart was attracted by this particular painting. Yes, well, you were right that to, to be attracted by it. It is, it is a true masterpiece, and although that word is often used, uh, I try not to use it that often, and I can for this. It's by a Flemish painter called Quentin Metzis. Um, he, he worked most of his life in Antwerp at the end of the 15th and the beginning of the 16th century. This painting was made around 1497 to 1500. Um, in fact, it's a recent discovery. So it's a very exciting work that, to bring this to, to Tefaf, but also very exciting for the world of Netherlandish painting of this period. And Netherlandish painting of this period is some of the greatest painting that's ever made. We're talking about Van Eyck, and the Master Flamel, and Quentin Metzis. They're some of the great names. And particularly because you have this extraordinary detail in the painting. And if we look closely, you can see every single strand of hair in his head is actually delineated. But also, there's a, there's a fantastic light that's been brought into this painting. It originally was paired with the Virgin, so it was a diptych, something that had two panels. Uh, we do know where the Virgin is, and it's been known for many, many years, and it's in a private collection in England. This painting was hanging in a church in Wiltshire, and it had uh, reputedly been given to that church by a descendant of the King of England, William IV. So it has a, a rather wonderful provenance has ended up in this church and strangely was given an attribution to a Spanish painter but some experts saw it and realized exactly what it was and it's details like this the brooch their pearls and jewels in a, encased in gold it has a certain luminosity and quality to the paint which only a certain type of artist can do and then also when you look at the picture there's actually a light source coming from here because he has a very slight shadow on this side. It's just slightly darker, there's a shadow here. So to create that sense of illusion as well as having this incredible realism is extraordinary. This paint, this frame is actually not the original frame. It would have been together with the Virgin in what we call an engaged frame. So it would all have been originally mounted in this frame. Obviously it's been separated at some point during its life. This would have been how it would have looked this, this frame so it's very close but again if you look at the hand of Christ holding it like that there's actually a reflection of gold within his hand which the artist has done as a trompe l'oeil effect to look like the gold of the frame is actually reflecting into his hand it's these kind of details that make this an extraordinary painting I mean you can also look deep into the eyes and you're looking at a, a real person it's just an absolute jewel. It's a perfect painting. For the, for the people who are not familiar with this type of painting, uh, can we roughly put it in, inside of the, uh, the course of history of our? Yes, so as I was saying, it's, uh, it's made in Antwerp, which was the Netherlands, um, around 1500, the year 1500. It's coming after Van Eyck, who was one of the most famous artists, around the time of Leonardo da Vinci. It's what we would say is the, the beginning of the Renaissance period. We've moved away from the Gothic, where things are much more static and more sort of stylized, into a period where things become much more natural. And this artist actually is a person who does make that transformation. You see some of his work looking more Gothic, and other work looking more Renaissance. This type of painting, was it in the church? Was it for uh, a wealthy man? What, what was it? I think originally it would have been for a wealthy man. It, uh, the scale of it, um, obviously there was the, the Virgin with it. It could have been closed and maybe carried with around occasionally, but you would have put it onto a sideboard and it would have been something you venerated and prayed to. Um, but also, it's just the scale is very, very personal. Um, so I would imagine this is in someone, a, a very rich merchant's house.